this bugs me a tiny little bit. I thought I had it centered, but it's it's not. <laughs> That's a bit annoying, a bit of an annoyance, but uh, what can you do? I mean, it really doesn't interfere with the road at all, but, but still a bummer, in my opinion. I don't like when things aren't centered. I mean, my, my bit won't hit the side here, but it's still pretty damn close. So we'll see for some cutters if if that's still sufficient enough. How I placed it, but yeah, for now this just has to suffice, I suppose. Ah, problem solved. Actually, I had it centered already. Thing was, I didn't screw this one in. Um, I should have screwed this one in before, then I extended those small holes such that everything slid a tiny little bit more to this direction, left direction. Getting rid of the um, weird arrow that I got and now it looks pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm satisfied. That's totally enough for me. So I received this plywood from a local wood supplier and I had to cut them to size in order to fit them into my, into my well, car. Um, and I got these ones right here uh, now and these thicker ones, okay, they are a bit wider. Now the thing is, I thought um, those smaller ones are, well, basically of the same width because they cut it with the machine, but as you can see here, the parts I cut off definitely weren't. Um, the same length, okay, even though they are completely flush with the front of the desk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my router and cut off this part right here such that they are all on the same line. Um, router because I don't want to cut into my desk and then I'm going to insert the blade which is still missing on here and then the workbench is, yeah, done for the most part when it comes to covering it with the plywood. So yeah, let's go. Bruh, bruh. Uh, Workbench go brrrr! Perfect, phase one is done and it doesn't even look too heavy. Yesterday I already tried the outfit table and it works very nicely. Everything is nice and square. I still needed to raise my um, table saw a bit unconventionally, but overall, what a great table. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install my router. Obviously, I want to use my router table. And for this, luckily on my main channel, I got a new sponsor, which um, gave me a high adjustable table. So I didn't need my old IKEA table anymore. This one right here, okay? Um, I have no reuse for it, but then yesterday I thought, well, instead of buying some new wood, I could use this as the layer, which goes there basically, where I can put my router on. Uh, yeah, basically, like a shelf you could say. And this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to make it fit in the hopes that this right here is actually some kind of wood and not just um, cartonage <laughs> being pressed together in a honeycomb pattern. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Pretty excited. But overall, up until now, we set aside with this huge fucking work table. So nice.
Ah, disgusting. Cheap IKEA garbage, just how I imagine it to be. You see, here's a little bit of um, wood, but other than that, it's just a hiding comb pattern. Um, but I can still use it like this. This is still totally fine for my purposes. Let's see if it fits in from the side. That's a perfect fit. <laughs> nice. For all this time, I had this rubber plate lying around for a month or something. I was able to keep all the magnets together. Up until 15 minutes ago, two of the four magnets just disappeared. I have no idea where they are and it pisses me off. I need to find them. Uh, it's so annoying. Perfect, finally. This totally works for me right now. I don't have dust collection yet, I haven't installed the t tracks at the moment and no fans at all, but it's not a problem. Most of the time I do freehand routing anyways. So this right here suffices completely for the moment. So what I did, I can now finally screw it upwards using my laboratory lift. What I did, I created um, weird little, I don't know, Tetris block thingies that go there. I still need to create one for here and for there. But those work for the moment and it's mostly flush with the table. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's too much pressure going on here. Um, I still need to make this flush, but yeah, this works. <laughs> so glad, and now I can try it out. So this turned out very nicely. Um, this cutting board's looking kind of thick, right? I got the pattern pretty nicely done on this one. But I already made a video on these anchoring cutting boards. But yeah, um, solid performance. Everything worked out so nicely. Um, seriously, that is good. That is working for me totally fine. What I love about the Festo router is that it already has some, some kind of button that you can press in such that it's going to auto automatically start once you press the start button on an uh, emergency switch like so. That is pretty good. I really like this. This is perfect for a router table, so I don't need to use weird stuff like cable clamps or like. But other than that, solid performance. I'm going to transform this um, workbench even more in the next few episodes of the workshop vlog and I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today and up until the next video I wish you guys a flammable day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to check out all the other videos in the workshop vlog playlist. Ciao!